So the next thing that we're going to talk about is uh, guiding, because we want to keep Jupiter in the middle of the chip. And if you have an ASCOM controlled go-to mount that SharpCap can talk to, it can guide on the planet. So let's talk about that. First of all, let me, let me turn my gain up just a little bit. In fact, do this a couple of clicks on my gain here just to get Jupiter a little more signal, a little brighter, not clipping. We don't want to clip. So let's guide. I'm going to go to Tools, Feature Tracking. And I'm going to use the mount. These settings, you're going to have to fiddle around and figure out what works best for you. Your, every mount is different. Uh, I have movement speed uh, at two times the mount speed. So uh, I'm going to use the center of mass, so it's going to guide on the center of mass of the planet. It's going to highlight the center of mass or features. I don't want to do that. It puts a little cross in there. I find it distracting. So now I'm going to monitor. SharpCap is now watching the center of mass move around, and I'm just going to calibrate. So what SharpCap is going to do now is send guiding signals to the mount to move the planet, first in declination and then in RA. Uh, you'll see no movement possibly at first because it has to take up some backlash, and then it'll start moving. And it'll measure in one direction on the axis, and then it'll turn around and measure in the other direction on the same axis to make sure that it can guide on that axis either way it has to go. Again, if you have a lot of backlash in your declination gears like I do on the C-Gem, you want to leave your polar alignment offset a couple of arc minutes left or right, not up and down. You want it as, as good as you can get up and down. It's not too sensitive, but uh, left and right being misaligned by a couple of arc minutes will give you a general drift in one direction in declination. So you're not constantly having to switch directions while you're guiding and take up all that backlash every time. So that's a good thing. Now we're measuring RA. And just like that, we'll get a message that flashes up that says that uh, we're calibrated and now we can guide. So if we actually turn on guiding, you'll see that the first thing that SharpCap does is it guides the planet to the center of the frame. That's because this checkbox is on. And now we're guiding, and that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.